Hello everyone, let's discuss an application of the method of characteristics to first order quasi-linear PDEs. First, let's discuss the general application of the method of characteristics to first order quasi-linear PDEs. With quasi-linear equations, we have the possibility of the gradient of the characteristics depending on the value of the function u. This means we cannot find the characteristics until we have found the solution for u, but we cannot find the solution of u until we have found the characteristics. Thus, the two must be found simultaneously, making the solution much harder. So, now let's state just the simplest case. The simplest case of this type of behavior has a equal to some function of u, b equal to some function of u, and c equal to zero. Then, the gradient of the characteristics depends only on u, and not on either the independent variables, and u is conserved along each characteristic. Then, Although we do not know the path of the characteristics as before, we do know that they will be straight lines. The values of u, and hence the gradient, will be determined by the value at the initial or boundary condition. Next, let's discuss a simple model of traffic flow. We define rho of x and t to be the density of cars at position x and time t on a stretch of road, and v of rho x t to be the speed of the cars at that point. The principle of conservation of cars on the road leads us to the following PDE to describe how rho varies with x and t. The partial derivative of rho with respect to t plus the partial derivative with respect to x of rho v is equal to zero. For our simple model, we allow the density to range between rho equals naught, where there are no cars, and rho equals 1, where the cars are bumper to bumper. The speed of cars on the road is assumed to be dependent only on the local value of rho as follows. V of xt rho is equal to 1 minus rho. This gives a maximum speed v equals 1 when the road is clear, and a minimum speed of v equals 0 when it is completely congested, with a linear variation in between. Substituting for v of rho and using the chain rule, the PDE then becomes the partial derivative of rho with respect to t plus the partial derivative with respect to x of 1 minus rho times rho equals 0. So, the partial derivative of rho with respect to t plus the partial derivative with respect to x of p minus p squared times the partial derivative of rho with respect to x equals 0 by the chain rule. And so, the partial derivative of rho with respect to t plus 1 minus 2 rho times partial derivative of rho with respect to x is equal to zero. We thus have a homogeneous quasi-linear PDE for rho of x and t. The characteristic equations are dt over ds equals one, dx by ds equals one minus two rho, dx by dt is equal to dx by ds divided by dt by ds, which is equal to one minus two rho. The characteristics are then given along these curves by d rho ds is equal to zero, so rho is conserved along each characteristic. Since the gradient dx by dt of each characteristic depends only on rho, each characteristic has a constant gradient and hence is a straight line. Note though that different characteristics can have different values of rho and hence have different gradients. Cauchy data will usually take the form of an initial condition, that is to say a condition of the form rho of x zero equals rho naught of x a rho naught of x is some given function. And, as ever, thank you for watching.